about 48 hours of age. I pick up the lamb, I weigh it, I ear tag it, I take the blood sample, I'll dock and castrate it if it needs to be, and then I'm done. I put the lamb down and then it's done and it goes through just the standard lamb procedures. You know, it's ready to leave the jug with its mom, go out in a mixing pen and, and group pens from there. Okay, so it's critical to have these animals identified because when we take a blood sample, we put the ID on the blood tube and you will have to be able to find that lamb later when we come back with the genetic testing results. It's going to, we'll test the blood sample and it'll test either as a um, free of the GM1 ganglycidosis, a carrier animal, or an affected animal. So you need to be able to find that animal again. Um, I suggest you double ear tag because we all know that they can lose ear tags and it's very unlikely they would lose both of their ear, their ear tags. Right now we're using a visual tag we use the little triangle tag from Allflex, the, the USDA tags for the Scrapey program. So we use that as our visual tag. And then we have also started using the Shearwell electronic system. So I have a visual tag and electronic tag in each lamb. I, I like the Shearwell system um, because I keep every, all my records in a database. And what the Shearwell does that I really like is I don't have to do any data entry. Before I have all my written barn records and I'd have them all on paper and then I had to go in the house and all enter them into my database. The other thing is the Shearwell does really nice reports. Up front, it might be a little extra work, you know, ear tagging them and get all the, getting that all into the handheld system, but then it's in and you can do all sorts of things with it. And you can do lambing records and you can have multiple, um, multiple generations in there. Um, you can track these animals and you can you know, you know what she did last year. You can, you can push a button and know what her lifetime lambing record was and who her offspring are that are still in the flock. So it's, it's really powerful. As we continued along with FDA, all cooperators will probably have to use this. Not only will it be especially useful as you bring your affected lambs back, we can just scan them in and we know, and we can trace them all the way back to the farm of origin. We know where they were born. We know the date they were born. Um, and then, and that's a really important part that FDA will require. Okay. Some of the other options, some producers will tattoo their animals as a, a permanent um, way to identify that animal if you're good at tattooing. Um, we have, you can do, you know, there's various visual tags you can use. Um, there's also some different electronic tags you can use, but the system we're using right now, and I do like a visual system so I can look at that lamb, I know its number. You know, if you always carried your electronic system with you, that would be good. The only thing is you have to be right on top of the lamb to get it to read the ear tag. So you can't really, if you only had the electronic tags, you couldn't identify that lamb from across the pen. You'd have to walk over to it and scan it right above the ear tag. So here we have a newborn lamb. This one's about a week old, so it's not, it's, I usually process them about two days of age. We let them bond with the mom for the first 24 hours and then I come back at about 48 hours and I, I do what we call processing. So I come through and we use our, we have, a, we have our visual tag. Load, load our visual tag up and I, I've just gotten to the point where I can pretty much do it all right here. And so I, I will put two, two tags in its ears. We put in a, a visual tag. There we go. Get that straightened down. And, and then I put in the electronic tag in the other ear. Okay. And then it goes in about, about like that. Okay, there we go. So now this little guy has two, two ear tags. He's got his electronic tag and he's got his visual tag. So now what I want to do, if the, if the U was here, what I'd do is I would, I would scan her ear tag so she's in the system and then I can add, so I've got her number in and then I say add a lamb. Okay, and then I scan that lamb. If I want to link these two tags, so right now they're, they're independent, but I have a screen that I can go to, 
and I can type in the visual tag, and then I can link it to the electronic number, and I link it. So now those two numbers are always associated together. I just highly recommend two tags, because if you were to take a blood sample on the SLAM and only have one tag, and it lost that one tag, you could never trace that blood test result back to the right lamb. So I need to you know, continue to express how critical that is.